I can do without that. I can do without that. Fuck out of here, dog. Fuck out of here, bro. I lost so much respect for Snoop when he did that shit. Snoop don't even fucking rap no more, dog. He uh, he out here trying to like be a fucking whole boxing analyst, a commentator. He got his fingers and everything, bro. Like when the last time Snoop even had a fucking hit? Like what gives him the right to fucking speak on anything, dog? What up, what up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Steve V. Knight. About to get on one of these things, you feel me? What's good with my Patreon family? What's crack with y'all, man? Hey, um, I got a whole different tune today because your boy is a little bit sober. A lot of bit sober, man. Um, As you can see, I'm still in Cabo and I'm still working for y'all. So, um, yeah, uh, next up on the fucking block, we're going to do Zeus. Wait a minute, I got to pump the brakes. I got to pump the brakes first and put a disclaimer out. So... I will be running through the entire album, but I'm going to be running through the entire album on the Patreon. But talking from YouTube and the Patreon, y'all have given me a list of songs that I should focus my attention towards. And from those songs, I will be posting those on the YouTube. So Zeus is one of those, you know what I'm saying? So, um, and I already know he fucking, he taking a shot at Snoop. I'm glad that fucking M spoke up about that shit. I addressed all that shit on in a video like a couple of weeks ago. So for those for those of you who know, you know what I'm talking about. But for those of you who are new to the channel, go fucking back and look up. And I, I don't know what, what what's the title. I think it's it's something about like Eminem. Eminem is hated because he's white or some something like that. But it's it's a dope vid. It's a dope video. I think it's just me speaking my thoughts about all that bullshit. And they got some uh, good, you know. It got it got it got some good engagement on the YouTube or whatever. But go back and take a look. You know what I'm saying. But yeah, like always, like always, Patreon family, love y'all, fuck with y'all, appreciate y'all, man. If you think about signing up with the Patreon, go ahead and sign up, it's lit, you know what I'm saying, doing a whole album over there, a whole album over there, front to back, over there, so go ahead and sign up over there if you want all of that, but we doing the the, the haymakers too on the YouTube, so uh, yeah, um, so so uh, yeah, uh, shop the merch, I ain't got a merch on right now, you know what I'm saying, I'm ripping my boy Nip, you know, Nip is, Nip is my favorite rapper. My, I know he ain't the best, but he's my favorite rapper. Nipsey Hustle all day, every day. I'm out, I'm out on vacation. Fuck it. Um, and yeah, that's what we're doing, man. Uh, Eminem, Zeus. Let's get it. She says I am trash, but she listens to Takashi. Damn, bitch, you lost me. Yeah, fair weather, wishy washy. She thinks machine washed me. What? Swear to God, man, her favorite rapper, wishy crossed me. Oh, I hate. See, this is this this is the fucking damn I like, bro. I like, bro. Like it takes breaking down for the motherfuckers who don't know, but the motherfuckers who do know, it's like he talking his shit. He talking his shit. You bitch, you say I'm trash, but you like Takashi. Where the fuck they do that at? Where in the fuck? Where in the fuck do they do that at? You say I'm trash, but you like Takashi. Like Takashi, if you look up trash in the dictionary, it should be a fucking picture of Takashi right named right next to that bitch. He's lyrical trash. You call me trash. All right, all right. Uh, bitch, you lost me. Fair weather, wishy washy got you. She thinks machine washed me, bruh, bruh. See that shit irritates me when I hear motherfuckers say that they think MGK won that. It irritates the fuck out of me. But it also shows me that they they just are they're 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 not informed. They're misinformed. They just don't know. They're not aware of what's really going on in this shit. And they they focusing on how the song sound. Like the song sounded better. It's a better song. MGK made a better song. Like you gonna play in the radio and shit. He had a hook. He had a chorus. He had all that shit. Like he put a whole production together to watch Eminem. But you talking about going to somebody's throat? Like pretty much just. Decapitating your ass lyrically, like Eminem went for MGK's throat, and you have to be read up on like the history and all that shit too. Like he's he's saying all these shits that just it's a body blow after body blow after body blow. Like he was fucking MGK up. He he was not letting go. Like MGK lost me when he said your beard is weird. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, it sounded good, so it irritates me. And I just I just did a reaction to that to those uh. To like the the battle rappers like Murder Mook and, and uh, Math Math Hoffa and other motherfuckers like talking about Eminem and what he would do in the battle rap culture. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna post that shit. Um, but it was one chick on there that that she said the same shit. Like I'm like, bitch, you battle rap, you battle rap, and she's nice, she's nice. I'm like, bitch, you battle rap, but you thought MGK won. Bitch, like you you lost me. So 
If a motherfucker tell me MGK won, we can't have a conversation. You need, you need to go fucking study rap some more. You need to go catch up on the history behind that shit. Study rap some more, and then we can talk. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it irritates me. Back into what he's saying, she think Machine Gun washed me? All right, all right. Fuck out of here. Swear to God, man, her favorite rapper wish he'd cross me. I swear to God, I wish your favorite rapper would cross me because I will beat the brakes off of him. Probably physically, too, but lyrically, don't nobody want no smoke with him in it. He will, I say he will literally, lyrically decapitate you. So let's go. She says I am trash, but she listens to Takashi. Damn, bitch, you lost me. Yeah, fair weather, wishy washy. She thinks machine washed me. What? Swear to God, man, her favorite rapper, wishy crossed me. Yeah, I love yeah. conflict, got a obnoxious what? subconscious. Yeah, I'm afraid. <laughs> I love conflict. I got a obnoxious subconscious. It meant like the creative process, the coming up to come up with that. Just the wordplay, obnoxious subconscious, but to have an obnoxious subconscious, like you can't help that. <laughs> you can't help your, you have no control over your subconscious. You can like intend, you have. You can have intent to be obnoxious. You can know you can be pissing motherfuckers off, getting on their fucking nerves, but Eminem saying my brain is just different. I have an obnoxious subconscious. Like you don't, you, my subconscious is like that. I, do, I I wake up like just giving giving motherfuckers the business. So you don't want you don't want it with me if I'm actually putting energy into that. I got my subconscious that's crazy, but I got my conscious that's crazy. You combine the two, you don't want you don't want any path with that. I will fuck you up. But the what the wordplay obnoxious subconscious like what what like what? Let's go. Favorite rapper wish he crossed me. I love conflict, got a obnoxious what? subconscious. Yeah, I'm afraid to unlock it. Keep those monsters in the closet. I'm what an idiotic addict. Sub on his I've been. I'm what an idiotic. Savant is, this is like idiotic, idiotic, savant is, idiotic, savant is, the way it rhymes, idiotic, savant is, but that's an oxymoron, an idiotic, savant, that's an oxymoron, those are polar, those are entirely polar opposites, an idiotic, savant, but he is an idiotic, savant, because he's crazy, he means he's, yeah, like, he means he's idiotic, like, he's, he's insane, he will take it there, but he is a lyrical savant, like, if you were, if you were trying to come up with a fucking savant in this rap shit, the closest, the closest you're gonna get to is fucking Eminem. Like he is a savant when it comes to putting, put pen to pad. When he said, "I got an obnoxious subconscious," but then he referred to like, "I need, I wanna, I'm afraid to unlock what's in that closet." It's like a double. I got skeletons in my closet. Most people have skeletons in their closet. He's saying, "I got monsters in this closet. I'm afraid to unlock this closet and let these monsters out. I'm afraid to unleash what I have in this head because I will fuck the world up." Which he has been for however, however many years. And he's saying he hasn't even really. He has. What he's saying, I haven't unlocked that shit. I'm afraid to unlock that shit because I'm, I'll be afraid of what I'm about to do to the world. That's fire. Keep those monsters in the closet. I'm an idiotic savant. Fire, bro. Fire, bro. Rapper wish he crossed me. I love conflict. Got a obnoxious what? Subconscious. Yeah. I'm afraid to unlock it. Yeah. Keep those monsters in the closet. I'm what an idiotic addict. Sub on his I've been throwing down gauntlets. It's that underground rockets. Yeah. Where I planted my roots. Yeah. That's how I had a whole planet that roots for me. As in the group. And no one thinks dark as I think. Of me. It's so simple, but it's so fire. He started with the underground. I've been throwing down gauntlets since underground ruckus. He's been doing this shit from the beginning. Since, since he was underground, he's been fucking doing shit. But underground, planted roots. When you plant your roots somewhere, you're, you're gonna stay there, you ain't going nowhere. The, the literal meaning of a, a plant with roots, <laughs> when a plant, a plant has roots that are underground. So underground, <laughs> planted roots, roots are underground, planet has roots. <laughs> but then he says, that's how, that's how I had a whole planet that roots for me. So since, so since I planted my roots in this hip hop shit, I have a whole planet that roots, that roots for me, that supports me. The whole globe, for facts, the whole globe fucks with Eminem. Planet roots, planet my roots, underground, roots are underground, but the roots, but plants have roots that are underground. Come on, dog. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, dog. I've been throwing down gauntlets since that underground rockets, yeah, where I planted my roots, yeah. That's how I had a whole planet that roots for me, as in the group, and no one thinks dark as I think of now. So imagine the havoc these black thoughts are to wreak, as in Trotta, I keep slaughtering. Oh, bruh. <laughs> yeah. See, I need the lyrics for shit like this. It makes it so much better and easier for me. So imagine the havoc these black thoughts are to wreak 
as in Trotter. He didn't even need to say Trotter. Isn't Tariq's last name Trotter? Is Tariq's last name Trotter? Tariq Trotter? Black Thought, the rapper, Black Thought, one of the nicest in this shit. And but then he just went, but then he just went from the roots. Because, oh! He did the whole root scheme, underground roots, planet, planet, that roots for me. But Tariq is from the group, the roots. <sighs> so I'm like, I was thinking like, what's the point of bringing Tariq up? But he always shouts out like the motherfuckers that are inspiring him. The motherfucker, he always shouts out, he always salutes the fucking rappers. So I thought that was kind of random, but it's not random. So he used the whole shit to tie in black thought to show respect. But he said to imagine that havoc that my, that my idiotic savant Crazy subconscious, black thoughts, those are black thoughts. My obnoxious subconscious, that's that's a black thought. My obnoxious subconscious, black thought. My black thoughts are crazy. Imagine the havoc that my that I can come up with these black thoughts are to wreak. Are to wreak. I'm gonna wreak havoc. I'm gonna fucking make the world go crazy. I'm gonna stir shit up. I'm gonna stir the fucking world up with these fucking thoughts. But to wreak. Trotter is Black Thought. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, it's just a stunt, dog. It's just a stunt. Like, Eminem does not need to do anything to show the world what he's capable of. But he's just stunting right now. He's just stunting right now. To be as big as Eminem is and to fucking still go crazy with his pen like that, <laughs> I would just do features. I would just do features and you gotta pay me a bag for me to put shit like this. But he's inspiring motherfuckers to to go for fucking gold with whatever they do. Like he's the he's the fucking man and he's still taking time to show motherfuckers that I'm the best at this. Ain't nobody fucking with me. I'm 50 years old and I can wrap circles around anybody, bro. That black that shit was crazy. That black thought shit was crazy. Come on, bro. Think of so imagine the havoc these black thoughts are to wreak. As in Trotta, I keep slaughtering beat. Shout out to beat minus and T minus. But me long as I pre promise to be honest and wholeheartedly apologize. And then he goes into da 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 Showing the fucking. You don't even need to do that, but he gonna do it because I'm the fuck. I'm the shit. I'm the shit. Da, 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 da. I keep slaughtering beats. Shout out to beat miners and T miners, but me long as I repromise to be honest. Fire, bro. So imagine the havoc these black thoughts are to wreak. As in Trotter, I keep slaughtering beats. Shout out to beat miners and T miners, but me long as I repromise to be honest and wholeheartedly apologies. Be honor for that song that leaked. I'm sorry, Bri, it wasn't meant to cause you grief. Regardless, it was wrong of me. But I'll be on my own. Hold on, hold on. What are you talking about? And wholeheartedly apologies, Rihanna, for that song that leaked. I'm sorry. What song did? What song leaked? He's apologizing for some leak from from some song that they maybe they did together that fucking leaked. I don't fucking know. I know that wasn't Rihanna fucking Eminem at one point. That's like that's like his boot thing. That's like his boot thing. I know they was fucking around for a little bit. They was fucking around for a little bit, but da 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 da. All right, all right, salute. All right, salute. That's one of them. One of them. Uh, 2020, 2020. Vision, in hindsight, some side mirrors. So he's he's he. That's that's that shit. Like he's apologizing for shit and he did in the past. Let's go. Minus, but me long as I pre promise to be honest and wholeheartedly apologies. Be honor for that song that leaked. I'm sorry, Re, it wasn't meant to cause you grief. Regardless, it I'm sorry, Re, it wasn't meant to cause you grief. I'm sorry, Re, that the way he just put that little re in there to make it rhyme. I'm sorry, Re. For that song that leaked, I'm sorry, Re. It wasn't meant to cause you grief. Regardless, it was wrong of me. Come on, bro. Come on, dog. Apologies, Rihanna, for that song that leaked. I'm sorry, Re. It wasn't meant to cause you grief. Regardless, it was wrong of me. But I'll be on my own. Yeah. Head up in the clouds. Looking like Zeus. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Zeus rap guy. Let's go. Let's go. Head up in the clouds like Zeus when they say you ain't the goat. I come down like who? But I got my head in the clouds like Zeus. Swear I can see the game from a bird's eye view. Yeah. Hey, bitch talking to a rap guy. Ah. Hey, girl you talking to a monster. Ah. Hey, you could give your whole damn life to the music thing. They gon' turn around like they don't love that's, you. Yeah. He's, that's fire. I always think about shit like that, especially in regards to Eminem. He gets so much fucking hate, and he do this shit. He doing this, and motherfuckers still want to question him. But when you the greatest, they gonna come at you. When you when you when you popping, if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. You can take that fucking shit anywhere. Eminem got a lot of haters. But he got he got so much more support. But if you got haters, that means you doing something right. If you get negative attention, that means you doing something right. You know what I'm saying? That fucking hits fucking home for me. Cause I ain't used to all. I'm still getting accustomed to all this fucking YouTube having a presence and all that shit. And motherfuckers be hating, but that doesn't mean you're doing something right. If you got haters, you know what I'm saying? So, but he's speaking on it. He's speaking on it. He's had haters forever, and he's still speaking on it. Like fuck it, fuck it. Let the haters, let the haters hate. Fuck it, hate on me. You watching me though? Let's go. Get your whole damn life to the music thing. They gon' turn around like they don't love you. Yeah, they want vagina. So when I get back on my feet, don't wonder why in the fuck is my head in the clouds. G5 with the stewardess getting head in the clouds. My hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That whole giant. They woke up a giant, sleeping giant. Right? Yeah, they woke up a giant, woke up a giant. So when I get back on my feet, they wonder why in the fuck my head is in the clouds. Because if you a giant, you. That's he's saying how big he is of a giant is that fucking tall his head will literally be in the clouds but oh like saying head in the clouds means you confident you're extremely confident you you know you you've hired and everybody you know you're above everybody you know what I'm saying that's fine that's fine but G5 with the stewardess getting the head in the clouds I got my head in the clouds I'm a giant transition I'm getting I'm getting sucked off in the sky you know what I'm saying <laughs> let's go don't love you. yeah they want the giant up so when I get back on my feet don't wonder why in the fuck is my head in the clouds G5 with the stewardess getting head in the clouds mile high club I give a blind fuck oh punchline and just trying oh, to oh, some oh, I try, I'm trying not to stop it so much but I got to mile high club he getting G5 he getting head in the clouds G5 you know what I'm saying mile high club when you smashing but he getting head, but then he fucking said, my high club, I give a flying fuck. I don't give a fuck, but if you flying and you fucking, you're in a mile high club because mile high club is when you're having sex in an airplane. That's far. That's fire. Flying fuck. I don't give a flying fuck, but I'm flying and fucking. Let's go. Let's go. The clouds got my high club. Why? I give a flying fuck. Oh, punchline. I'm just trying to survive in this climate of a giant. I'm trying to cancel my ass. I can't your mind. My syrup, I'm a shit stirrer. You're a dime. Man, he be talking about all this current shit, bro. I feel the same way. This cancel culture. The culture, bro, 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 bro. At the end of the day, motherfuckers are soft these days, bro. Soft. You can't do shit. You got to just worry about who you, in the, who you offending. Shit can get taken out of context. All this shit. Motherfuckers been doing this shit for fucking years. Like, Aunt your Mama. I know about Aunt your Mama is the fucking syrup. That's like... And your mama is like like a old it's like a it's like an old school ass like black lady with the fucking scarf on her head and shit. I don't know what I'm saying it's like, but it's always been that way. We're never a problem. But since we in this cancer culture, soft ass culture where they cancel everything for whatever the fuck you say now or what you have been said forever. Like everybody just so fucking soft, man. It's just so fucking soft. Motherfuckers soft as hell these days, bro. Like fuck, dog. Fuck, bro. Fuck, dog. Motherfuckers, man. Flying fuck, oh, punchline, I'm just trying to survive in this climate of vaginas, vaginas. Survive in this climate of vaginas? Everybody fucking soft, man. Cancel my ass, I can't your mind. Syrup, I'm a shit stirrer, you're a dime. Dozen said I couldn't do it. Hit Europe, kick the door and put a foot through it. Uh, like a stirrup, stirrup. Dozen said I couldn't do it. Hit Europe. Kick the door in, put a foot through it like a stirrup. I kick the dough in, I put my fucking foot through that dough. I'm here, motherfuckers, wrecking shop, but the little stirrups on the side of the horse, you just put your foot through the stirrup to ride the fucking horse. Let's go. That's that's simple. That's simple. That's simple. This is this is it's simple, but it's dope simple shit. Let's go. I couldn't do it. Hit Europe, kick the door and put a foot through it uh, like a stirrup. Stirrup. Used to have to sit and watch them bills pile up. Yeah. Now I just sit back and watch them bills pile up. But I be on my own. That's all. It's, it's, it's dope, dope, simple shit. 
You st used to have them bills pile up, the bills I had to pay. Now I'm literally watching these dollars, dollar bills pile up. So I'm getting money now. That's dope. That's dope when you think about it. That's dope as fuck when you think about it. But it's simple. Simple complexity, bro. That's that shit that hit for me. Simple complexity. You ain't got to do much. Say some simple shit that fuck your head up. Let's go. Yeah. Head up in the clouds like Zeus when they say you ain't the goat. I come down like who? But I got my head in the clouds like Zeus. Swear I can see the game from a bird's eye view. Yeah. Hey. Don't, don't he got a song called Monster? Rap God, I'm thinking, he's like, he's he's like, you know, bringing attention to, that's a big ass record, but don't he got a song called Monster? Or something like that, I'm not sure, let's go. I can see the game from a bird's eye view, hey, bitch you talking to a rap God, hey, girl you talking to a monster, hey, you could get your whole damn life to the music thing, they gon' turn around. I've seen them come and go, I've seen the hugest, hugest debuts, hugest. Drake got so much fucking haters, bruh. And Drake is a, one of the goats to this shit, too. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. That whole little ghostwriting shit kind of fucked him up. But it don't even fucking matter, bruh. Like, he has a musical ear. His ear for shit. Like, you want to call him a rapper, pop star, celebrity, comedian, actor, whatever the fuck. His musical ear is crazy. He, he knows how to make. He knows what it takes to make a banger. Call it his team, his camp, whatever the fuck. It's, everything is derives from Drake. Drake is the core of that shit. And Drake puts out bangers consistently. But he got the haters because he popping. He got the haters, you ain't popping, bro. We saying they gonna turn on you. They already turned on Drake. They already turned on Drake. They already they turned on they turn on them and them. You know what I'm saying? I, I've seen them come and go. I've seen the hugest debuts. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that one hit wonder shit, low key. Talking about one hit wonders. I mean, it was definitely not a one-hand wonder. Drake is definitely not a one-hand wonder. He's talking to all these motherfuckers who probably like celebrities out here talking shit. Got, got some type of following, whatever the fuck, because they had some bangers in the past. They ain't put shit out now. You you was here, now you gone, motherfucker. But I'm still here two decades after, bro. Fuck out of here. Let's go. The, the game through. And Drake, they're gonna turn on you. One day, two. And the more you win, the sooner, sooner they do. They'll be calling you a trash bin, saying that you're new and isn't better than your last. Even if it is, once they start to turn their backs, they ain't never coming back. And they did it to chance next to be mentioned in future in the past tense. Ooh, I'm saying that's hard. That's hard. They did it to chance, chance, the rapper. I don't really fuck with chance like that, but did motherfucker turn it back on chance? I don't. Next, they'll be mentioning future in the past tense. <laughs> but future got bangers. He got bangers. <laughs> He, Future got that musical ear. He know it sounds good. Future got bangers. Even though his his last his his shit that he been putting out now ain't like his shit in the past, but he still got some bangers now. But it's dope. It's dope. The wordplay talking about future in the past tense, whole future, past, that whole dynamic. That's hard. That's hard. All right, and let's go. Coming back, and they did it to chance next to be mentioned in future in the past tense. Yeah. For saying adios to amigos. Uh. I ain't dissing, I'm just trying to keep the shit a scene. Nah, he ain't dropping gems. He dropping gems. He's he's warning. He's giving motherfuckers a warning. Y'all popping now. Y'all popping as fuck now. But they will fucking switch on you quick. So I'm trying to prepare you, future. I'm trying to prepare you, Migos. They already did a chance. I'm trying to prepare you, Drake. I'm just dropping gems. He's dropping game. Trying to keep it a scene, though. Trying to keep it a buck. Trying to keep it a, I'm trying to keep it a honey. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. For saying adios to amigos, I ain't dissing, I'm just trying to keep the shit a scene. Yeah. Same people been trying to do the shit to me, so I call them people because they're so easy to see through. Mm -hmm. but Same people been trying to do this shit to me, so I call these motherfuckers a people, people, people. But a people you can see through a people, I can see through these people, I know what they about. People, people, that's fire. That's fire, bro. Let's go. Coming back and they did it to chance next to be mentioned in future in the past tense yeah. For saying adios to amigos, I ain't dissing, I'm just trying to keep the shit a scene no. Same people, been trying to do the shit to me so I call them people because they're so easy to see through them But a fighter's all I knew how to be, I got the shit beat out of me Tripped and fell and blew out of me, popped it back in and hopped up like fucking best two 
that's hard. I got this shit be out of me, tripped and feel blue out of me, popped it back and hopped up like fuck it. That's hard. That's hard, bro. Do that shit again. I ain't dissing. I'm just trying to keep the shit a C note. Same people been trying to do the shit to me, so I call them people because they're so easy to see through them. But a fight is all I knew how to be. I got the shit beat out of me, tripped and fell and blew out of me, popped it back in and hopped up like fuck it. Best two out of three, yeah. Man, I gotta be doing something right. I got 11 years of sobriety. So the only bottom I'ma be hitting is if it's out of me. Wait, I mean, you would think it's somebody. Fuck it, best two out of three, yeah Man, I gotta be doing something right I got 11 years of sobriety So the only bottom I'ma be hitting is if it's out of me Wait, I mean, you would think that somebody handed a saw to me How I'm chopping it So the only bottom I'ma be hitting I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna bottom out I'm never going away I'm always gonna be at the top of this shit You're never gonna see me at the bottom The only bottom I'm gonna be hitting is some side of me Cause bottom is also like your butt, like your ass And side of me is like fucking somebody in your ass You know what I'm saying? But your ass is also referred to as your bottom Your, your ass, that's your bottom You get popped on the bottom You know what I'm saying? But he's talking about fucking an ass But then he said, if it's saw to me, wait I mean, you would think that somebody handed the saw to me? Let's go, bro Man, I gotta be doing something right. I got 11 years of sobriety. So the only bottom I'ma be hitting is if it's out of me. Wait, I mean, you would think that somebody handed a saw to me. How I'm chopping these bars, they keep wanting me to rap responsibly when I'm constantly passing the buck like the fucking Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. But I'ma always. Mm -hmm. Passing the buck. One, a buck. A buck is one dollar, so a lot of bucks are passed at the Dollar Tree because everything in the Dollar Tree is a one dollar. So a lot of dollars get passed. But passing the buck, it's also like a saying, you pass the buck like you're trying to give the like the owners or giving the responsibility, like you got the responsibility of something, you're trying to put that shit on somebody else to do. That's what passing the buck means. But passing the buck, Dollar Tree, hard, let's go. Me to rap responsibly when I'm constantly passing the buck like the fucking Dollar Tree. But I'ma always remind you that I came from poverty. Black people saved my life from the dark and Dijon, and all that we want is racial equality. R.I.P. Laquan McDonald, Trayvon and Brianna, a Tatiana, Rayshard and Dominic. Eric. That's hard. Black people saved my life from the doc, Dr. Dre, Deshaun, both his homies out of black. He probably mean proof in there too, and then he's shouting out to he's he's bringing he's bringing up the racial injustices, the racial. Inequality is going on today, he, but he always does that shit, bro. M is the M is M is the one, dog. M is the one, bro. Equality, R.I.P. Laquan McDonald, Trayvon and Brianna, a Tatiana, Rayshard and Dominic, Eric Garner and Rodney King. No, we can't. The way he made that shit rhyme, no. R.I.P. Laquan McDonald, Trayvon, Brianna, a Tatiana, Rayshard, Dominic, Eric Garner, Rodney. Like the way he made that shit rhyme, he literally just said all their names. Laquan, McDonald, Trayvon, Brianna, Tatiana, Rashad, Dominic, Aragona, Rodney. But he, the way he said that shit, it rhymed, bro. Like, how the fuck did he? Constantly passing the buck like the fucking Dollar Tree. But I'ma always remind you that I came from poverty. Black people saved my life from the dark and Dijon. And all that we want is racial equality. R.I.P. Laquan, McDonald, Trayvon, and Brianna, a Tatiana, Rashad, and Dominic. That's fire, bro. Aragona and Rodney King. He literally just listed their names, but the shit fucking rhymed like a motherfucker, dog. Laquan McDonald, Trayvon and Brianna, a Tatiana, Rayshard and Dominic, Eric Garner and Rodney King. No, we can't get along to these white motherfucking cops who keep murdering blacks are off the streets. And as far as squashing beef, I'm used to people knocking me, but just not in my camp. And diplomatic, cause I'm trying to be last thing I need a snoop dogging me. Man, dog, you was like a damn god to me. Nah, not really. I had dog backwards. But I'm starting to think all these people taking shots at me. Shit, it's no wonder. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what y'all, that was y'all talking about. I was prepared for him. I'd be at the end of the song. He ain't made no reference to Snoop at all. But that's dope. Last thing I need is Snoop Dogg dogging me. Man, dog, you was like a damn guy to me. Nah, not really. I had dog backwards. <laughs> you always been a dog. You ain't been no fucking guy. You out here talking shit, bitch. I can do without that. I can do without that. Fuck out of here, dog. Fuck out of here, bro. I lost so much respect. For Snoop when he did that shit. Snoop don't even fucking rap no more, dawg. He, uh, he out here trying to, like, be a fucking whole boxing analyst, a commentator. He got his fingers and everything, bro. Like, when the last time Snoop even had a fucking hit? Like, what gives him the right to fucking speak on anything, dawg?
He ain't, bro. I mean, he got bangers. He got bangers, but he ain't got. He he, ain't, he don't have anything that's touching what Eminem has accomplished throughout his career. And Eminem is still putting goat shit out now, bro. So, like, if you gonna say some shit, you need to be one of those motherfuckers who can say some shit, bro. And Snoop can't say no shit. He got bangers. He got shit that sound good from like his first fucking album. But that's and he got some shit after that. He got he got like a couple of bangers after that. But they bangers. They're not bang. They're not known for like what he's saying lyric lyric wise. It's just bangers. Drop it like it's hard. Drop it like it's hard. Like those are hooks, bangers and shit. But you talking about some rap, rap? Fuck out of here, dog. Fuck out of here, bro. I need a Snoop Dogg in me, man. Dog, you was like a damn god to me, man. Not really. I had dog backwards. But I'm sorry. Dog, you was like a damn god to me, man. Not really. I had dog backwards. But I'm starting to think all these people taking shots at me. Shit, it's no wonder I be on my own. Head up in the clouds like Zeus. When they say you ain't the goat, I come down like who? But I got my head in the clouds like Zeus. Swear I can see the game from a bird's eye view. Hey, bitch, you talking to a rap god? Hey, girl, you talking to a monster? Hey, you could give your whole damn life to the music thing. They gon' turn around like they don't love you. Okay, okay, okay. I fuck with that one. But like, I'm still not in love with these beats, though, bro. It's but it's cool. It's cool. It's fine. It don't even, it don't even fucking matter. It don't even fucking matter, man, because he is going off with these lyrics, and I like these lyrics. Like I be sometimes I be stressed out doing Eminem reactions because like sometimes he'll make a whole song a double, and you might miss that shit, and I'll be out here looking fucking crazy like I have been in the past. So like these are dope because I like digging in these bars. This is this is kind of low key like battle rap type shit. The doubles, triples, cadence, and all that shit. He ain't fucking throwing me for no fucking loop. Talking about drugs and bitch and a whole bitch in a hip hop game and a whole fucking song. You know what I'm saying? He not doing that. He got here just showing motherfuckers I do this. I do this. So I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it, man. So yeah, that was Zeus. Zeus. Rap God. Let's get it, man. Uh, I fuck with it. I know y'all fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you like what you see, consider subscribing to the channel, please. You know what I'm saying? Hit that fucking hit that like button, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Push the notification button for your boy. You know what I'm saying? If you want the whole fucking album reaction, a whole album review, go check out the Patreon. And I got the fucking Slim Shady LP up there. I got the motherfucking uh Marshall Mathers LP up there. I'm going through the Infinite album review right now, so I'm gonna have to get through the Infinite, the first first one, and this shit at the same time, and do their fucking reactions, and do whatever the fuck else we doing, you know what I'm saying? It's popping over there in the Patreon, so check it out, you know what I'm saying? Oh, merch always available, shopstevenight.com. And I'm out.